Hola amores! Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel or if it's your first time here, welcome, hello. Um, I wanted to go ahead and film with you guys some easy DIY, some easy to put together Halloween costumes. So today I'm going to do easy costumes that you can do with clothes that you probably have at home. I know that Halloween is not everyone's thing. I know that some people really love Halloween and want to get into the spirit, but that extra dough can go somewhere else, right? I'm going to show you some costumes that you can put together, probably using things that you already own, if not using basic pieces that you could probably find really, really affordably. So I'll go ahead and list any of the options that I wear down below or some alternatives. And You'll notice that throughout the costume changes, I don't change much as far as my makeup is concerned. Now, if you're extra like me and Halloween is just life, then you would probably want to do some different makeup per, for every look. You can do that. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I hope And I hope that I'm helping you guys celebrate this wonderful holiday with me that I love so much. And also maybe save a little bit of money because I know. We got the holidays coming up. They're coming up fast. It literally feels like October started yesterday and it's over today. So if you guys wanted to learn how to save some money and get some pretty dope costumes for Halloween, just keep on watching. Hey guys, real quick, just wanted to go ahead and announce that this video is sponsored. Oh my God, I got my first sponsorship. Like crazy, 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 crazy. So, um... The company that sponsored this video is a KC Cosmetics. They were actually nice enough to send me uh, three of their products. So I have here their mink lashes. So I've got an eyelash extension tutorial coming soon, right after the Halloween festivities. And I've got an eyelash and eyebrow growth serum enhancer, which I am trying out. I just want to see if it does anything to my brows because and if you don't know this, my brows are pretty much all drawn on. Got very little brows. So I'm trying this out. And then I've got a natural mascara, which this mascara is actually pretty cool because it, this mascara is actually pretty cool because it has jojoba oil, vitamin E, and chamomile, which jojoba oil is actually really good for your fingers, your skin, and I forget what else. But so it's really, really cool. Vitamin E is always good for your skin, and I hear that it does help your lashes grow so I will go ahead and make sure to update you guys on this product but thank you so much to Casey Cosmetics for this sponsorship really really appreciate it let's get back to the costumes bye guys so for our first Halloween look we're going for Lara Croft that is Tomb Raider for those of us that are a little bit younger I'm going for the Angelina Jolie kind of look here so I did the French braid with a little piece out and then I'm wearing a green tank top and Tay shorts. These shorts are from Laura's Boutique. I wear them all the time, super comfortable. They're super stretchy and great. And so you can just pair this with some combat boots and call it a night and you are Laura Croft. There are little accessories that I'm sure you can add, like maybe a belt holster or a thigh holster. Next we have Black Widow from the Avengers. I know in the new movie she's got short hair, but in the first movie she did have long hair. And so I bought this wig from Walmart for 10 bucks. And I'm wearing an all black outfit, black shirt, uh, especially because it might be cold, black long sleeve shirt, and some black pants, and a You Are Black Widow. The best part about costumes like this is that you get your point across all while looking super comfy and not having to really spend much. This costume really would cost me 10 bucks. This is a fun costume that's not too literal. This is a minion. Excuse the fact that the yellows between the shirt and the beanie are different. I couldn't find a yellow beanie like this yellow. 
The shirt I got from Michaels, it was $3.50 and the beanie from Forever 21, I think it was like $2. And these clear rimmed glasses I already had from a long time ago, I think they were like 5 bucks. And you can wear jeans instead of the black pants, I just didn't feel like changing, but I think if you wore jeans, you'd get your point across. Low key, I have always wanted to dress up as a Playboy bunny, but for one reason or another, I have never gotten the chance to. These bunny ears I bought last year, they were like $3 at a Halloween store after Halloween, and this bustier kind of thing I got from Dee Dee's Discounts, it cost me $6.99, and I'm just wearing black pants, and there you go. You can be, it doesn't have to be a Playboy bunny, you can be any type of bunny you like. that has eluded me for years, Selena. I got these bangs from Amazon and I'm wearing the same bustier. A busti caca. Is your hand if Ariel was and always will be your favorite Disney princess? I actually forgot until I was looking through my wardrobe and I realized I had this red wig. I already had this purple bralette and a green pants from a set that I just bought a couple weeks ago. So very, very cute. Definitely get your point across. The purple, the green, and if you stand together, it kind of looks like you're having a little fishtail moment there. So super, super cute and easy. And I didn't have to buy anything, again, except the red wig. And I thought that if you brought a fork around, people would definitely know who you are. Just be careful, don't stab yourself or anybody else. Now I've been wanting to do this costume ever since I saw Patrick Starr dress up as Jessica Rabbit last year. And I just so happened to have this red dress from OTD Fash, this red wig that again only cost me 10 bucks at Walmart. But will you believe that I went to six Halloween stores and nobody had purple gloves? What is this? When did these become such a commodity? Everybody gonna be Jessica Rabbit this year? Gosh, I hope not. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, I think this is a cute little take on that costume. Using that same red dress and these $1 devil horns that I got from Walmart, you can be a devil. This did come available with like a set, a three piece set. It came with a red bow tie and the tail. But honestly, I think the little horns by itself are very, very cute and it gets your point across. And you can be a little naughty on Halloween. Honestly, this was a last minute idea. And I mean, while I was filming, I realized, hey, I have this white wig from last year when I was Jack Skellington. You know what would be a great costume? Storm from X-Men. And I'm literally wearing the exact same thing that I am wearing for the Black Widow costume, except just with a white wig. This white wig I bought on Amazon last year. It's super long and it gets very knotted because it is very long, but it's super cool. And using the top of that two-piece from earlier, I did get this two-piece from Laura's Boutique. And if you add a couple of accessories, maybe some leaves in your hair, or on the wig, or on yourself, this is Poison Ivy. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please let me know what you're gonna be down below in the comment section. I love to know what people's plans for Halloween is. Let me know if you're crazy. I plan to use a lot of these costumes, honestly. Like probably like three out of the like 10 that I did, I'm probably gonna wear three of them. And I know people always ask me like, oh, what are you gonna be for Halloween? And I'm like, like the weekend of, or like the day of, or like the three days before, like. 
And people are like, you really wear like all those Halloween costumes? And I'm like, yeah. So another fr one friendly tip that I do want to make is to take these pieces. And if you buy any like wigs or if you buy any head pieces, if you buy any little accessories, keep them. Keep them in a box. And that way, if you have another costume, maybe you can recycle some pieces for the next time. The, I only bought one wig this year, and it was the red one. Um, the white wig, and I have a blonde wig, and I have a black wig. All of those I've used in previous years, and so I just keep them together. I just keep all my Halloween stuff together. So right now, when I was going to film this video, I got out my Halloween box. I do have a Halloween box. <laughs> Am I like a nerd? Maybe? It's okay. I don't care. Okay, so I got out my Halloween box and I was surprised to find that I had a lot of costume pieces in there. The bunny ears were already in there. Um, the yellow beanie I already owned. Um, there's a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that I already had that I kind of, that kind of helped me. And the accessories in my Halloween box that I went ahead and used. So this is a perfect way to save money because believe it or not, you can recycle your costume pieces and make something brand new. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!